Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a simple avatar template model like the one you see here that you can import into any scene and use a scale reference for whatever it is you'd like to make in box edit. To do this, we need an unlock template of the avatar character. So the first thing I'm going to do is to load up a new scene using the template. So I go to template, I choose the human, the medium human, and I create a new folder. So we'll call this template avatar. And then I choose save. And here he is. So to create the template model from here, we can't do it within the avatar scene. We have to create a new empty scene and import in this character. So let's go open a new scene. So here is a scene with nothing in it. I'm going to import in the avatar. So here is our avatar character with the unlocked template. We can tell it's unlocked because the animations are available to us. Now I'm going to put the character in a T pose. I go down here to where the animations are and I choose just the letter T. Our character is now in a perfect T pose. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create an empty node. So I've created an empty template node under the root. Next is I'm going to create a new empty model. So I'll go over to the top right, new VXM. I'm going to call it template. And we get an empty scene. Now I'm going to fill this workspace. I'm going to come out. So here's our new template model. I'm going to attach that to the template node. And this is how it looks in the scene. What I'll do next is I'm going to alter this model's workspace so that I can draw a template character to the correct size. To do that, I'm going to click the pencil tool. Because our template model is now in the scene collected to a node, we can still see the model of the avatar in the background. First thing I'm going to do is change the proportions of the work area. So the work area has stretched out the x-axis in this direction. I want to center it. So I can right click on this, the pivot tool, and choose center. And then I can also right click again and choose set to floor. I'm a few pixels out, which doesn't really matter, but let's just say I will alter it down to 63. Center, that's good enough. I'm going to empty the workspace of the purple model, and then I'm going to draw around the avatar character. Now that we have the shape, I'm going to crop the workspace by using the crop tool at the top. I'm then going to right click on the pivot tool and I'm going to center the pivot and set it to floor. And now we have our reference character model ready to be exported. So now we can either export out just the model or we can export out the scene, including the node. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to first right click on the model, export to VOX and call it template model. I'm going to also clean out the scene so that we keep the node and the model. We could also start a fresh scene and do it that way, but we'll show you how to clean up a scene. First, you can delete the controller node, which belongs to the avatar character. So now it might look like your scene is clear, but we have all these models in the scene, plus we have animations to clean out any unused models. You can click on the three dashes at the top and delete unattached. It says there's 16 models to be removed. Now you'll see that the only our model is remaining. And also in your animations, all the animations are still here in the list. So if you want to clean those out also, there's a brush tool here for deleting unused. This will delete every animation, but the current one. So now we have no animations except for a single animation, which you always need. We go to file, save as, and we call this template scene. So now that we have an empty scene, we can either load in only the model by going to import VXM and finding our model and loading it in. Then we can create a new node and we can attach our template to that node and he will be in the scene. We can also import the scene that we created with the node already made. So we can go to the root, import hierarchy, and choose the template hierarchy that we created, the VXR file. And now in this case, you see we get the node and we get the model. I hope this video has helped you.